What's up, guys? How are you? Time for a Tuesday morning edition of the Daily Juice Podcast. I am your host every single morning, Matt Peralt. You can follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt. We are here on bettingpros.com. We're here on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. And we're always being brought to you by BetMGM with the offer that's always right above me here on YouTube. The 20 buck offer, $100 guaranteed winner on any event. We're using that promo code JUICE100 when you sign up for a new account at BetMGM or on the application. And remember, if you're in D.C., you got a $600 risk-free first bet with that promo code JUICE100 when you sign up for a BetMGM account in D.C. Okay, so let's break down last night. And I'm in a good mood because I spent the better part of 48 hours arguing with Canadians about the Vegas Golden Knights and why they were going to win and win relatively easily over the Montreal Canadiens. You guys were saying bet the puck line. It was a good bet. It was a better bet than what I made. Now, I laid a full unit down on Vegas at minus 258. Huge favorites. I'm not taking a victory lap because a bet of that magnitude hit, okay? I'm not some, you know, handicapper that <laughs> goes ahead and pounds my chest or some tout when I win a plus or a minus 250 plus bet, okay? It's supposed to hit. The reason why I'm happy is because of the way the game played out and the fact that there were so many Canadians on my Twitter timeline and radio shows I appeared on telling me that this Montreal Canadiens team was not to be messed with, that they were different, that Carey Price was different, that they, they could shut down Vegas. They shut down Winnipeg and Toronto, so why couldn't they shut down Vegas? And I kept on saying, you guys played cupcake hockey for the better part of a year and a half. That was the first game for the Canadians outside of Canada in over 400 days. And they came out flying in the first 10 minutes. Just flying. Couldn't do anything else after that. Only had five shots in the entire second period. They had nothing. If you bet the under, though, last night, man, that was a lottery hit. To have the 4-1 lead and the under five and a half goals and have an, an empty net for four and a half minutes and no goals get scored, holy. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a victory and that is a monster sweat. Vegas had multiple shots at the open net and they couldn't get it in. So, unfortunately, if you bet the over, that stunk. I'm not sure who who was, you know, freaking out more, the under or the over, but eh. so the under hits. We'll see what happens in game number two on Wednesday, but I don't think this series goes beyond six. That's the max. And look, Mark andre Fleury played incredibly well. Carey Price kept that from being like a 7-1. to one. Now, probably the final score with average goaltenders, the final score of that game is probably like 7-3. to three. It's probably something stupid. <laughs> you know, Vegas, there was a ton of goals, but then Montreal scores at least two more goals. Mark andre Fleury was just awesome. And this is why these two teams are in the semifinals because they've got great goaltending. But Vegas was exactly what I thought they would be. And the atmosphere was exactly what I thought it would be. Rocking, awesome atmosphere. Vegas scored first. Vegas had control of the game. Great, great win for Vegas. Full unit it comes in and cashes. That's the second time we've bet full a full unit. I think we're 2-0 in 2021 betting full units. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll start doing that more as I've kind of decided that once we get to the one-year anniversary, I'm going to kind of sit, sit back, see where I am. I will reassess what my personal one unit is. And, and well, right now would be kind of a good time to talk about that. I was asked that question last week when somebody said, Matt, when do you decide to recalibrate and decide what your one unit is? And... I take my bankroll, I take a look at what we're going to do coming up for football season, and whatever you're comfortable with your one unit, then go ahead and set it, and that's your one unit. I have had my one unit in my half a unit play for the pretty you know, pretty much the entire time of this. We In football season, we bet one unit. I, I was not betting full units in, in any other sport, and I will again bet one full unit coming up for football season, but for July and August, I got to kind of figure out I'm probably going to come out and fire full units. Yeah, uh, but just I may have half and full. I may kind of mix it up a little bit for July and August with baseball until we get ourselves into a situation where I feel more comfortable. But I will recalibrate because it's been one year and it's time to take a look at the bankroll and take a look at 
what I think I should do and how do, how do I approach the 2021 football season? What's going to be my one unit? So that's when I will do it probably January, uh, sorry, July 7th. So we're looking at three weeks or so from now to see if that's going to happen. So we got the, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights right. That was nice. We got, I'm trying to see where else, what are the other bets that we came in? My phone just died, so normally I keep track of all this on my phone, but I can't do that. So we got Vegas right, we got Philadelphia wrong, and the Red Sox came back in the bottom of the ninth after Vlad Guerrero hit an absolute moonshot <laughs> to tie the game off Matt Barnes. Cannot throw that guy a bad breaking ball. Hit that thing a mile, but then the Red Sox came back, Raphael Devers, with an RBI single to win the game for Boston 2-1 to one against the... Toronto Blue Jays. So we got that right at minus 118. And then Shake Milton scored eight points. So that came in, that hit. And then Rudy Gobert points and rebounds over 26 and a half. The game's still going on right now. I'm watching it because I have a bet on the over, personal bet on the over in this game. It's 110 to 97 with 311 to play. Uh, the live total, uh, they shut it off. So it's tight um, <laughs> in terms of where I'm going to be. So I'm at what? I'm at 207 right now. And I'm going over 224, so I need 16 points in three minutes. It's not impossible if we start seeing threes and free throws. So maybe I get there to the over. But, you know, Philadelphia just, uh, I mean, 20-point lead and they blew it. I mean, they had a chance to take a commanding lead. And as I said, as long as if we're, if we're going to lose the bet, we had to have a, we had to have a win for Atlanta. Because now it's 2-2. And they're going back to Philadelphia for Game 5. Our plus 155 wager is still alive for Atlanta to win the series. So now it's 2-2. It's the best 2 out of 3. And Atlanta has to try to win Game 6 because they don't have home court. But they're not going back to Philadelphia down 3-1. In that case, I think it's over. I think the, most likely the Sixers win Game uh, 5. And then Atlanta maybe wins Game 6. But... It's going to be interesting to see what happens with that knee injury because Joel Embiid looked wrong. Like, he couldn't jump. Everything was short. He played horrifically. That knee is getting progressively worse given the minutes he's playing, and he does not have any lift. Donovan Mitchell tonight didn't have any lift, although he scored 36, 37 points. Uh, watch the injuries for sure. Watch the injuries. So this is a blowout win for the Clippers, and we'll watch and see what happens in Game 5 here, but... I would have sat Donovan Mitchell down. The lead is only 13 points here with three minutes to play, so I guess Utah is not totally out of it. And if you bet the Clippers minus five, you're still sweating this. I mean, this this, this cover is not locked in yet with the way that we're seeing the Jazz come out and shoot threes here and just try to contend and try to be in this series. Mitchell is not going anywhere, so he doesn't look right. You know, I don't think Embiid looks right, but it's the postseason and this point in the year, like who actually is is, is right. But so a three and two day, Rudy Gobert just had a dunk, but he's going to come woefully short on his rebounds and assists. He was just not even a factor in this game at all for the Utah Jazz. And credit Kawhi and credit Paul George, they were absolutely tremendous. Okay, so let's get to the plays here. I've got four of them because no player props today, just one NBA game. So no player props coming up here today. So I've got a baseball bet, a uh, basketball bet, a baseball, uh, a hockey bet, and a soccer bet. The Discord bet today is the soccer bet that you have all been asking for. It's the first ever soccer bet. <laughs> the first ever soccer bet for us here in the history of the Daily Juice. And it is a, it is a Discord crowdsourced bet. Okay, if you were on the live chat, and this thing is really fun, I I don't know how you guys do your process of figuring out what games to bet, but I find it so beneficial to talk it through with literally anybody, like anyone who has any real idea about about gambling. It's so good to talk out your bet and to hear what they think and then to point out things that you may not know or you may not think about and say, what about this? What about that? I just, I absolutely love it. So I love the Discord conversation we're having. I love the fact that we're having this every week. And if you're not in the in the Discord chat, get in and then be a part of the Discord stages conversation every Monday afternoon, Monday evening on the East Coast, because I find it awesome. So we had, again, we have like 50, 60 people hang out. They recommend different bets. We had a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wagers that were recommended. The Discord bet is... France and Germany. 
Okay, France and Germany, both teams to score. Yes, at minus 125 at DraftKings. France and Germany, both teams to score is the prop bet. Both teams to score. Yes, at minus 125. Now, that game is, let me make sure we've got what time that game is going to kick off here because I believe it's sometime in the middle of the day. And I don't want you guys to miss this when you wake up and... Well, where is soccer? Oh, there's soccer. Okay. So then the schedule, it is France and Germany. Uh, that game will happen for Tuesday. Okay, sorry. Change the day. That's a 12 noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time start on ESPN. Okay. France, Germany, both teams to score. Yes, at minus 125 at DraftKings for the Discord wager. Okay. So both teams to score. Yes, at minus 125 is our wager. Four and six all time on the Discord bet. I like that bet a lot. Hopefully we get one goal from France, one goal from Germany. That's all we need to cash the wager for us for the Discord bet. Okay, there is the first ever soccer bet in the history of the Daily Juice. <laughs> and it's a crowdsource bet. We've got, we've got soccer. So you can't get mad at me if you wanted soccer. Dan Harris wanted soccer. Dan, you wanted soccer. Here's your soccer bet. All right. And two bets we discussed on the Discord chat, I'm taking, and I was going to take them anyway. I'm 100% taking them now after us talking it through, all right? Let's talk about, we bet this one time before. It didn't hit yesterday. Pittsburgh Pirates, yes, in the first inning to score a run. The Pittsburgh Pirates are taking on the Washington Nationals. Two pitchers are Tyler Anderson and Patrick Corbin. Anderson's 3-6 and six with a 4.52 ERA. Patrick Corbin is 3-5 and five with a 6.21 ERA. Tyler Anderson's 8-4 and four to a yes run in the first inning off of him. And Patrick Corbin is 9-5 and five to the yes scoring a run off him in the first inning. One of these two teams, they will score. Okay, One of these two teams are going to score. Minus 115 is what I got it. Yes, run in the first inning. Minus 115, Pirates, Nationals, half a unit. It's a quick one, but it's in place of the props. Okay, so it's a quick one, and we're jumping on it. Pirates, Nationals, yes, run in the first inning, half a unit at minus 115. To basketball, let's talk about the the Nets and the Bucks. So, the under train is on for Milwaukee and for Brooklyn. For Milwaukee, five of the last six games have gone under. For the Brooklyn Nets, all five of their last five have gone under. And in this series, it's been ridiculous. Under by 17 and a half, 27 and a half, 66 and a half, 26 and a half. Totals have been 239 and a half, 238 and a half. 235 and a half in 229. Okay, 229 under 20, 26 points in the last game. 107 to 96. The total is 218 that I got here in Vegas. Shop around. I think points matter, but without Kyrie Irving and James Harden, this is going to be a real tough game for Brooklyn to score, and I think Brooklyn's going to slow the pace down. I think Brooklyn's going to want to play the type of game that we saw uh, in game number three, which was an 86-83 type of game. I don't know if we go that low, but I think we're, th we're in that type of game because I don't think Brooklyn can get into a track meet with Milwaukee, nor do I, th do I think they want to get into a track meet with Milwaukee. Under 218 for the Nets. Let's get another under here. And let's hope that we don't see, like, Joe Harris bomb 100 threes or something. But under 218 for the Nets and the, and the Milwaukee uh, Bucks for game five of their monster series. And this is a huge game in Brooklyn, man. Talk about a big game. This is a big, big game here for these two teams. Without two of their best players, it's going to be wild to watch for the Nets. Can they score? I don't think they can. Under 218 is what we're taking. And then finally... Tampa Bay, and the New York Islanders. So 
the Islanders are a team that have had just a crazy run. Over the last 37 games on the road, the Islanders under is 25-10-2. Varlamnov's been tremendous. Under basically two goals against average. He was great in game one, a 2-1 to one final. Vasilevsky is just incredible. Under two goals against average. He's just insane. I don't think we're going to deal with a high-scoring series at all. I got five and a half here in Vegas. Now, you may see a five, okay? And I don't I don't mind if it gets to five if you bet the over five in that same trend. I don't, I don't mind that. But I found five and a half, and I'm betting under. And, and the juice is not that bad. So, to me, I think playing under five and a half. Well, actually, the juice is kind of bad. Sorry. It's minus 155. No, sorry. Minus 145. Excuse me. Minus 145. The juice is kind of bad. But it's minus 145. Under five and a half. I've seen a five out there at a different book at plus 100. So I think you might see fives at some point. But five and a half and under is my play here, not five and over. So five and a half under. Maybe it's a 3-2 win and we get it. It might be really, really sweaty and nasty, much like the Vegas game. But I'm just going to keep going with the unders here, under five and a half for these teams not scoring a ton with great goaltenders and standing on their heads and not allowing a lot of goals. It, it may be a sweat. It may be us pacing around, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay the five and a half for Tampa Bay and New York Islanders. I'll lay the minus 145 juice on that and take the under. Okay. So our four, wow, I'm getting really close to this. I need three points in a minute <laughs> to get to the over. And it looks like we're going to see a foul. Okay, we got a minute left. Can I get three points to at least get a push? I'm on over 224. <laughs> and we're at 221 right now for the total with a minute and a half left. Hmm. Not bad to end on the night on a winning night. That won't be bad if I can kind of figure out do we get three points in one minute? Or, oh, I get free throws too. How about that? It was a foul to get Paul George into the game. And of course, he misses the free throw. Oh boy, we got scrubs in for both teams. Can I get three points? Maybe I'll hit the second free throw and I get two points and maybe one layup and at least I'll get a push out of this with the total. Our bets for tomorrow, the Discord bet, and he hit it. So I'm, I need two points in a minute oh four. Both teams to score, yes, between France and Germany. Discord bet, minus 125, half a unit. Yes, run in the first inning, Nationals and the Pittsburgh Pirates at minus 115. Under 218 for the Nets and the Bucks, and under 5.5 for the Tampa Bay Lightning and the New York Islanders. Those are the plays. My name is Matt Peralt. You can follow me on Twitter, at Sports Talk Matt, each and every morning. It's the Daily Juice Podcast right here on bettingpros.com, brought to you by BetMGM.